Hopefully. Well, Pablo, uh, Pablo Levin, first question uh, I want to make to you is uh, what is your what what is capital technological capital? Could you explain to us? what uh, cap technological capital is well i'll i'll try i'll try to but uh, let me smile a little bit <laughs> it, it looks uh, really funny to be speaking uh, in uh, in another language which, which is not our common mother tongue uh, but yes i'll try to explain what uh, technological capital is uh, if possible in a few words and first of all I would like to tell you that uh, it refers to a general social structure which uh, prevails in our times uh, the main uh, feature of this uh, historical uh, particularity is that uh, economic structures are uh, pervaded by a relation which is uh, uh, molded, molded on the inherent tendency of capital towards inherent differentiation. So now let me explain uh, this because it may sound uh, rather strange and enigmatic uh, because of the words I, I use. Uh, first of all, let's uh, delve into the common notion of uh, capital differentiation. Uh, as everybody knows, uh, especially after just a moment of reflection, is that uh, capital, since its historical inception, has been always differentiated capital. Uh, this means that some firms, some capital enterprises, are dominant upon others. Uh, the, the world of capital uh, firms is not a world uh, characterized by equality nor by uh, uh, voluntary relations uh, nor by the perfect contract which uh, means that both parts are uh, free free to establish and to disestablish this uh, particular relation and uh, equal in force. Uh, this has never been uh, the case. However, this, is, uh, this e generalized equality is assumed by what we may call the received um, economic theory. It might seem, uh, if, as as uh, as I believe, uh, this equality is uh, never to be, uh, never and nowhere to be seen in the real world. It seems that this must be a, a, a very big mistake and a tremendous shortcoming in uh, economic theory. But it is not. Uh, on the contrary, uh, due to this uh, supposition, uh, economic theory has been possible and it has uh, progressed since the uh, late Middle Ages with a modern uh, uh, spirit. However, this uh, supposition uh, 
even if it makes concepts possible, it also imposes an extreme, a limited bound upon these uh, concepts. Um, so the moment comes when, after having made all the uh, having uh, driven all the possible fruits of uh, abstract economic theory, it should grow out of these uh, abstractions. But uh, to do so, a certain historical condition should be uh, uh, present. And this historical condition, we, we can give it, uh, for a moment, a very big name, which is revolution. Social, general, radical uh, revolution.